Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. If DZ, the one and only, welcome back. I know a lot of people say this nigga said he would do it the internet like 1500 times. 2024, that is a lie. Cause like, bro, I haven't did an interview, a real interview like in a year. The other cat, he was playing. He was like, he, he was playing. Nigga didn't want to work with a nigga for real. Just did what he did. Move on by his way. But you think it was just for like, I mean, of course for content, but you think it was it for uh, like for that? Percy. It was about Percy. Like, I feel like he, he was doing the movie about Percy and whatever he can bring to it, anybody fan base, he um, felt like I got a fan base. That's why I felt like he fucked with me. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I ain't gonna hate on him. Appreciate that nigga for giving me an opportunity that people didn't think I would take serious, but I took that whole serious that he had me, even for a second. That's an accomplishment, bro. Even to be high Percy re relevant. Yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I'm, I done made it to this nigga shit inadvertently, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I appreciate him for that because it's a lot of people, bro. It's people at the um at the XJ, you just say, bro, he said, I know OG person. I say, oh, for real? I say, hell yeah. And the whole time, they don't even know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, the, and I'm like, hell yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, I, ain't, I, I like when you at work, I don't tell people about nothing, you know, yeah. I'm like, I, I do you, no, nah, that's none of your business. For sure. But so when that nigga say person, I'm like, shit, yeah, I ain't even tell a nigga I was like, I was in person movie, bro. Nah, that's a, and that's a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, check yeah, out the resume yeah, for That's real. what I'm saying. But yeah, it's been about a year since we did our last interview. Even though like we knew behind the scenes what was going on, a lot of people tried to make it more than what it is. Like, hey bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like we, it, through this whole thing, if y'all don't know that this nigga Pico crazy, <laughs> because like I like bro, I, man, look, they all say I call on you, but shit, you know you ain't that far away. But like my wife always, I said I ain't even mad at like I look at you like a little bro. So like we was talking, so I said let me just punk ass nigga this shit. Like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? But like it was never, it was never serious like that, bro. It was never serious like that, bro. Really, like on some real shit, like. Pick on real from his side and I'm real from mine. So real H Town Cats, bro, we ain't cut though, but at the same time too, we show people that we not perfect at the same time because a lot of niggas who claim to be real did some fake ass shit so they can't even speak on what's real no more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like fuck that, it's time to get to work. This is how we used to make this like this is what we used to do. We yeah. didn't do no lies, we ain't and do no argue with niggas online. But a lot of niggas we, we gave them out the chat. The chat, oh bro. If man, the chat is worse than the Raiders fans, bro. Now for sure. The man. chat is bro, let me tell you something, man. <coughs> I cause like bro, I'm not into giving niggas no praise, bro. I'm not giving you no praise. I ain't gonna say your name, but if you it like if you listen to the wordplay, you know who I'm talking to, right? So it's one nigga that's going against one of the um, one of the Texas cats in Austin. You feel me? He going against him, talking shit. You feel me? I hop on that hoe. You know what I'm saying? And just say, say, bro, why in the fuck is y'all still talking about this man? Like nobody, you got three thousand motherfuckers, bro. You can't tell me three thousand motherfuckers believe. Like it's cool with what you saying, like, bro. So if it be one out that three thousand, fuck it. I got on that home. Stop talking about that man like that, bro. Female try to say something. I'm bro. Like, bro, in 2023, bro, regardless on 2023, 2024. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 2024. If a fe I'm not disrespecting no female online, bro. I'm not, I don't care how mad they make me, bro. I'm not disrespecting no females, bro, because at the end of the day, my daughters are getting bigger, bro. Um, I got two grown ass women around me, bro. I got two babies that's gonna grow with to being grown women, bro. I'm not disrespecting no woman, bro, because I don't want nobody disrespecting my daughters, bro. For sure. So, but when a woman, what I don't like is how guys use women. Like the number one killer is two killers: envy and women. In the black community, that would get a black man killed: envy and women. The woman could be the play the most treacherous role, bro. And who, bro, and like the most betrayal that I ever saw in my life, dog, your sister is next to your mama. So, like, say, like, say, hey, hey, you ever saw relationships in this world where 
if I don't got a good relationship with my uh, mama, but I got a good relationship with my little sister, or I got a good relationship with my big sister. So like when you so when you look at that a woman next to the the sister is basically next to the mama, bro. That's how that's how Amori, Khalil, and Royalty see it in my household. Okay. When they see their sister, they love their sister like your mama. Right. Like that's the one that's the one who gonna have you nurture. Your sister don't force to be on there regardless on what your little brother do. Your sister don't force to be on there being an enemy, like being sitting down with niggas who gonna stab you in your back. I don't give a fuck if me and you know, and me and the nigga had words, bro. Me and the niggas had words, but I stand on real shit, real like real shit, right? Like this is right. This was supposed to happen. We know that we accept dumb shit, but this was supposed to happen. We supposed to watch dumb shit happen. See, then we always ask why. We always ask like, why do why, like why the colonizer don't respect us? Cause we don't respect us, bro. Why other races don't respect us? Cause we don't respect us, bro. So when you have black people, you every every black person that you see degrading the other black person, put on a clan's hat. Mm -hmm. 